In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the look of the next and previous buttons in Articulate Storyline. So, Articulate Storyline, I'm using Articulate Storyline 360, and let's preview, I'll just preview this slide just to show you what the next button looks like. So preview this slide, and here we have down the bottom, these are the next and previous buttons. There you go. But you might want to change the look of them. So how do you do that? Well, go back to the slide, and then go to Player then the player menu will appear. And whilst I've got your attention, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, thank you very much. Anyway, back to this. So the player is on here, and you've got player style, which is currently sat at modern, which is what I tend to use. But if you click on that, you can change it to classic. I've got a message here from Articulate Storyline. Now, this is the first time I've actually seen this. It says, we've added over a dozen exclusive features to the modern player. Continue using the modern player, question mark. I'm gonna say no, I don't want to use it. I'm gonna ignore their feedback. You might not have that bit up here, by the way. And here we have it. This is the classic player with those previous and next buttons. Now, the reason you might want to use these is because you might have a project which you're updating and they were using this exact type of player and this is part of the corporate style. Personally, I prefer the modern one. The reason being is your previous and next, or prev and next. Now, as a language thing, and I often have to translate courses into lots of different languages, previous and next, you know, they're not translating over unless I go and change all of the actual player languages itself, which gets a little bit more complicated. So I prefer just to have the arrows. But this is how you do it. You've got previous and next. Also, from here, you can then go to colors. The color scheme is default, but you can change it to whatever you want it. So let's have a black one. There you go. I've got the black theme again. I've got previous and next. All looks perfect. If I'm happy with it, press OK. Let's preview this one. And there we have it, previous and next. I've changed the style, you don't have to have it black, have it however you want, but that is how you change the previous and next buttons in Articulate Storyline. Anyway, check out all my other videos. I've got loads of videos on how to use Articulate Storyline, along with lots of other useful videos, such as how to remove backgrounds from objects and some really useful websites that will help you in your uh, e-learning and instructional design journey. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, thank you very much. Enjoy your previous and next buttons.